Well, the divorce rate, it's lower than it has been in many decades, but it's never an easy subject to explain to children. When parents decide it's best to get a divorce, mm -hmm. they often worry about, you know, how do I tell my kids? What's the best way to do it? What's the best time Real to do concern. it? Our relationship guru, Dr. Carol Brees, joins us today with some helpful tips on how parents can really prepare themselves mm -hmm. and the kids because the, the family is about to go through a major change. There's no way around it, Carol. Major change. And some of our research on this shows that 75% of parents are not having this conversation well, and they're only oh. spending about 10 minutes talking to their kids about this big change really? that's about to happen in their family. 10 minutes? 75%. Wow. Okay, right. so 25% are doing it well. Yes, they are. What are they doing? Gr yeah, Let's we can learn those. from them. Well, one thing is they're not only having one conversation, you know, they're having multiple conversations, because this isn't something you just want to tell your kids and then, you know, hope it goes well. But two other things those parents are doing well is they are emphasizing over and over to the kids that it is not their fault. Hmm. A lot of kids think, if only I behaved better, sure. or if I cleaned up more. Wow, that's a lot of guilt. They take the on. The kids are so young, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. And so you want to make sure you're letting your kids know over and over, there's nothing you could have done. This is an adult decision, you know, and it's something that, um, you know, we're, we're going to experience some change, and, and it'll be okay. The other thing those parents who are doing it well are doing is saying, we're still going to be a family. Mm. Our family is changing. They're emphasizing the change in the family, but we're still going to be your parents. We love you. So you've got to make sure you're sending those messages. Divorce is a, a process. It's not mm -hmm. like it just yeah. happens. So when along that continuum do mm -hmm. you have that conversation with the kids? Yes. Do you do it together? Absolutely. You want to do it together and present a united front. When we're talking about grade school age children, two to three weeks in advance of when you're actually going to separate is a great time to do it. You don't want to do it too far in advance because there is going to be some significant worry on the kids' parts. Mm -hmm. So two to three weeks in advance is a good time and you want to come to that conversation with as many details about what will happen as you can to reduce their worries. Mm. You know, to say, you know, I'll be living here, your other parent will be living there. You'll still be in the same school if that's yeah. true. You know, so some of those concrete details are helpful. And be ready for those questions and too when they come. It's also important to tell the kids' teachers if they're in school the oh, day before you're going to talk to them so that the teachers can just be aware. That that's what's going and on. And watch for if the kid's having a hard time in school. They know why. And one of the things that you say is a good thing to watch out for is to watch for those maybe emotional outbursts. How do parents help yeah. deal with that it, yeah. for them and for the kids? Yeah, it's so important that you and your spouse present a united front and you are calm mm. and you are ready to let them know that you might be sad about this too, mm. but there is no place for you and your partner to be expressing anger um, toward one another in that conversation. The other thing you want your kids to know and tell them is that all feelings for them are okay. So whatever they're feeling, some kids feel angry, some sad, mm. some are curious. Some are actually a bit relieved, oh. and so because the, they've seen the struggles, yeah. they've seen they this, they, they've seen yeah. this pain. Most of them, they sure. kids are you know kids are watching. They pick up yeah. on it. What about as kids get older? Mm -hmm. Once you're uh, at the 15, 16, mm -hmm. 17, you start to wonder: Did dad cheat? Did mom mm -hmm. cheat? Oh, did right. uh, is it mom or dad's drinking? What is right. it? Uh, is there too much information to share with the kids? Yeah, it's a great question. It's important to think about that question at all ages. But sometimes when our kids get to be teenagers, you know, we tend to see them as more of a peer, and we have to be really careful. Anytime you're talking to a kid about upset or anger or arguments um, between you and your spouse, it's too much information. Until okay. your child oh, okay. is an adult and then you can have some of those conversations. Even then though, you want to be really careful. Careful about what you share. You also need to be really careful about sharing financial worries with mm -hmm. kids, even teenagers. You know, so it's okay to tell your grade school age kids or teenagers that you're sad about this um, and share some details about how this will work but you have to be really careful never, ever through the beginning conversation or throughout the process to badmouth your partner. And yeah. really quickly, I do just want to ask mm -hmm. it, at what point do you look for maybe getting outside help for your kids? Yeah, if you see that your kids are having any kind of difficulty, they're not sleeping, they're not eating, they're acting out, their mm -hmm. grades are dropping, get some professional help. A lot of couples, um, who do this well get help before they have oh. the divorce conversation. They get stronger as a couple so they can co-parent better 
throughout and Just after the divorce. Okay, Good advice. Carol, thank you. Mm -hmm.